What's a query? Well, really, in any context, a query is a question. And you ask the question, and you get back, it, you get back an answer from that query. In our context, a query is always also going to be a question, but the question, but the answer that you get back from the question is not going to be text. The answer is going to be a set of nodes, a set of elements and attributes inside an instance that match that query. So the notion of query, if you're familiar with uh, relational databases, will be a familiar one. In relational databases, we have a standard query language called SQL, and SQL specifies a syntax. It specifies a methodology for asking questions. And the answer to the questions in a relational database is rows from a variety of tables. That's what you get back. That's the answer that you get back. A query in a full text search engine, um, for example, Google, will be a set of web pages that match the, uh, match the question that you answered, that you asked. In our case, in an, XML, in an XML context, the query is going to be specified as an XPath, and that XPath is going to be used to find the nodes, to find the elements and attributes that match the question that you've asked. So the kinds of questions you can ask using XPath are, is there a title node under the item element? Is there, a, is there a movie that has the ID M-E-X-P-E-R? Is there a movie that has that ID and does it, have a title, does it have a title child? Those are all the questions you can ask and XPath will give you back the answer and the answer that it gives you back will be, well sometimes it gives you back a true or a false, yes there is, no there isn't. Sometimes and more often the way that we're going to use it, it'll actually give you back what you've asked for. So you say, is there a title under that, under that movie element? And it gives you back the title. So that's a useful thing for us to do. And we're going to use these XPath queries over and over again inside of our XSL commands in order to find the right, the right nodes inside of our XML file and then to retrieve them and put them into output.